I'm the academic director of uh, Future Learning, uh, and we started as a, with this idea of uh, having a technology-enhanced language uh, school, and that uh, brings the question: What is technology-enhanced learning, and what is it not? Because um, people have um, ideas about that. When you mentioned that, that's what you're trying to do. That needs a little bit of clarification and explaining. So. This uh, short talk is about that. A uh, little bit of background. Uh, we are uh, focusing on junior courses, um, uh, in, in, in international learners. Uh, we started in 2013 with this idea of bringing technology into the language teaching classroom. Um, and we started with 45 students, and we had 4,000 students in the last year, uh, and some of the schools in four locations. And now we start to do these short stay programs where they come on school tours and do projects, technology based projects as well, to the high school integrations. And we're thinking about how do we bring it into, into, into adult programs as a, as a new departure. And we got funding from the local enterprise board. And we were very pr proud to be accredited by equals recently. And so these are what my students kind of look like. Uh, like that, <laughs> uh, and uh, we get them from France and Spain and Poland and China, and uh, we do technology enhanced uh, language projects with them. And so, let's start with this. What's learning technology for you? Uh, now, I have here the essential um, piece of kit for many teachers. I don't know if you can see clearly what that is. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, who uses one of these? Yeah. So, you already are dependent on technology in your classes. If you're using this, you are dependent on technology in your classes. And you've had those moments when it breaks down. Yeah, anybody have suffered a photocopier breakdown recently? Yeah. Okay, you're like, oh my god, it's broken down. And so, I always mention that because people are kind of going, I can't use technology because you can't depend on it. What if it breaks down? And I'm trying to say, well, you're already depending on some key piece of technology that sometimes breaks down and you live with it. And so, to extend technology into other areas is not that big a leap from, you know, the photocopier has broken down, the Wi-Fi has broken down, you find a way around it, you have a class that works to keep you going until it gets repaired or whatever. It's the same problem that you're already dealing with. It's not a new problem. And people are thinking, oh, this is a whole new problem. No, it's the same problem. It's just with a slightly new varnish or a new, a new presentation. Uh, and so, opening out this idea of what is learning technology, I want to throw in some other suggestions. Anybody recognize what that is? The felt board. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I put that up there because when I was in primary school, <laughs> the, 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 the Irish classes were done with the felt board, uh, where the teacher would tell a story using the little characters and uh, teaching us the language. Uh, and so there's a bit of Velcro on it, and they stick them on and move them around and so on. Uh, an obvious one. Of course, you can't forget about that. A technology in its way, you know, that um, people uh, uh, were able to do things with that they weren't able to do before in terms of conveying information to the students or helping them understand things. Um, and I put this one up here because, you know, it's not just a piece of art, it's about trying to help people understand the story, a complex story. It's a teaching tool. It's a visual teaching tool. You know? So that, the, 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 there is uh, that element as well. Of course, now we have these, or there's one there, yeah. Uh, anybody use one of those? <laughs> yeah, notoriously for getting stuck uh, on the carousel as the slides go around. Yeah. Uh, what about one of these? It's a hand crank printer. Yeah. Uh, also called a gestetter. 
a Gestetner machine, and so it's a precursor of the copier. You have to cut, cut the stencil, put it in, the ink was squeezed through, and you turn the handle, and the pages came out. Uh, uh, we're one of these. Yeah, uh, we're one of these. And the thing I was told I was missing, of course, was <laughs> for the language teaching classroom. Yeah, one of those with the counter. So you could you could you could make sure that you're rewind rewound to the correct spot, and so all of that is by way of saying learning technology is any device which assists learning. Okay, doesn't need to be electronic, uh, but any device which assists learning is a learning technology. It changes what we do and how we do it. So I'm going to give you a moment just to uh, talk to the person beside you about which of these learning technologies you have used, or have been used on you, and <laughs> are there any others that you think, that you, th that you think I've missed? Okay, so one, one minute. Are you free to talk? Yes, or you yes. I'm I remember but I think we might have used a lot of the projector. You had those kind of transparent films that you write on and stuff like that. Was, they, were, they were cool. You had some nice handwriting. Uh, I found them. Uh, uh, cool, yeah. Uh, yeah, the photocopy was the. Okay, I'm going to stop that there because I'm going to run out of time. Um, did I miss any? Did anybody want to throw in another learning technology? A TV set? A TV set, yes. With the VHS recorder. Yeah, of course. What was that? Smartboard. The smartboard, yes. Well, there it is right there in, in the flesh. Any others? Okay. So, that's where we are. Uh, uh, we're using this technology. How, uh, but then it's the question of enhanced, enhanced learning and what does that mean? Because the problem with technology is that it seems to be a good in itself that um, uh, uh, as soon as you have technology, it's going to, the students are going to learn. But th there's a problem there. The technology doesn't teach the students. Um, and so you have to, uh, it's just a tool. And you have to think about what are you going to do with that tool to make it, uh, to make it effective. And so when I'm trying to explain that we're using technology in our language learning classrooms, uh, then uh, I have this is the idea that I've adopted about, about technology. So I'm opening out the definitions as much as possible. Yeah? That e-learning is any use of information and communication technology. Any use. Um, even if it's your audio recordings or uh, uh, anything, it's, it, that, that, that is using the, the digital in learning, using the electronic in learning. Uh, we're already doing it. It's not the future, it's now. Um, and my definition of enhanced is we use the that technology when, big bold capital letters, uh, it can't help improve the learning outcomes. And by that I mean through engagement of the students, making them more interesting, interested, a better way to convey the information, helping them practice more, motivating them, and then individualizing uh, in a way that the teacher talking to the whole room just can't. Uh, Whoever is using it. So it doesn't need to be in the hands of the learners straight away. It could be 
in the hands of the teachers, like me here to you, could be in the hands of the managers or the administrators, tracking students' progress and seeing how they're doing and all of that. Uh, and of course, in the hands of the learners is also important as well, but it's not the only enhancement. Uh, and so I'm opening that out to show how much we're already here in this, in the middle of this, unquestioningly enhancing, uh, doing technology enhanced learning. And uh, so I want to make that conscious. People uh, ask, when I say it's technology enhanced language learning, they ask, well, is it a technology course? And the answer is that no. Students might learn how to use a, a, a language learning application more effectively, but that's not the primary goal. It's, not, it's still a language course. And then they go, well, is it online? And I don't think it has to be online to be technology enhanced. Um, it can supplement face-to-face -face teaching. It can enhance our face-to-face -face teaching. Uh, and the students are doing this already as they sit in their classes in front of us. They're using their, their, their dictionary apps uh, as part of their face-to-face -face learning. We already live in that, in, the, in that world. And so I'm insisting on the need to teach communication face-to-face. I don't see that technology takes that away, but uh, it is increasingly going to be part of it. I'm sorry, I put the future tense in there. It is increasingly part of it in, in the now, in the present. And so, what do you need? You need inspirational quote uh, <laughs> to conclude your, your, your presentation. And um, this is the one that explains why why we have to use technology in the classroom. Uh, because, of course, there are lots of reasons that it, may, it, it brings problems with it. Uh, you have the attention span problem and uh, uh, how do you keep people focused and all of those um, difficulties and what information is true, and what do you believe and all of that. And so you have to deal with those things if you're going to bring technology into the classroom. But it's not a, a valid choice to say we don't deal with them because it's the pen and paper of our time. Uh, it's the lens through which we or our students experience the world. And so teaching them to manage those problems that come with it is part of our job as educators. Uh, it's essential for them to function in the world because we could keep them in this classroom bubble wrapped up in bubble wrap and say, you know, we won't give, there won't be any distractions or there won't be any false information. It will all be safe and uh, reliable and uh, uh, soothing and calming. And then put them, put them out into the real world and they can't cope with that. It's like the classic thing where the teacher, the student said, says to me, uh, teacher, I understand you, but I don't understand anyone else. And so it's a bit like that, that we can make it too safe. Uh, um, um, this one um, is to do with don't forget the teachers and uh, our government is um, bringing in a secondary school technology policy that's all about hardware, that's all about infrastructure and it's not put the money into training the teachers uh, and then you don't necessarily need a smart board to make the technology work in the classroom. Uh, and to spend all the, all, all the money on the infrastructure. But if you do spend all the money on the infrastructure and none on the teachers, then it's wasted, completely wasted, right? Um, so if the teachers are not able, then it will fail. Technology will not do the teaching, the teachers will. Um, it's just a tool, right? Cannot substitute for well-trained teachers. Uh, uh, says uh, this guy from the Consortium of School for School Networking in the United States. Um, it's like a textbook won't teach students. I suppose we have to be, 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 be uh, honest and say there are a minority of self-teaching students that don't need teachers. Yeah? But there are a very small minority of people who can actually teach themselves. But for the majority of students, uh, the book is not going to teach them uh, without help from the teacher, the software is not going to teach them without help from the teacher. People need the structure, they need the direction, they need the encouragement, the motivation, the feedback, all of that stuff that can only come from a teacher. Uh, but, if you're going to bring it in, 
you can't have it as a special event. You can't have, well, once a month there's going to be a technology day and when we have a technology thing in our technology classroom. That won't do it. That it has to be integrated. It has to be the students get used to it, they learn how to do it, they learn how to use it effectively, and it becomes a, a, another tool that they have learned, like a dictionary. You can't just have a dictionary day and use it kind of once in a while. It has to be a regular part of, 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 of what you do.